position, head on the floor, how to stay safe, how to get to your knees, how to stand up, all your basic principles. Then we had a look at the top control drill, how to get a little bit more pressure on that side control so the person on top, on the bottom, is carrying your weight. That's one of the things you want to do when you're on top of someone, they need to carry your weight. Why? Less energy for me, more energy for them. They're going to get tighter, it's tighter, it's harder. You can control which way you want them to escape to set up any of your attacks. You had a look at basic top control drill, moving from side to front or north-south to side, switching your base, going back to mount and dismounting. The whole time, making sure the person is carrying your weight. <coughs> Same thing, we went to mount, we learned how to go to side mount and keep control squeezing our knees and everything. From side mount, we had a look at the clamp arm bar and it's one of those arm bars you don't rush with. Saying that, you can customise it, you can personalise it, take it <coughs> your own, and you can do a lot of things and change it, as long as you understand the fundamental of how clamp arm bar works. Same thing with the king clamp. It's going to work on some people, not on others. It's going to take you a while. You may find you do it a different way or there's certain things, but make sure you understand the basic principle and the concept and then personalise it. One of the things I always um, look at when learning jiu-jitsu that I'm going to use is what I call a 90-10 rule. Every move that I, I most of the moves I, I, I learn will work on 90% of the people. There's always 10% of the people who are going to have a rubber arm, move a different way, do something weird that I'm not prepared for. Every single position has someone that's in that 10%. But, saying that, everybody is 90% somewhere. Maybe not everywhere, but somewhere in their game, they're a 90% person. They're with 90% of the people. you just got to find that 90%. So you're better off working on moves that will work on 90% of the people than worrying about the 10% of the people who have rubber arms, really hard to choke, you can't do arm triangles with, or you do knee bars and they've just got no um, sensitivity in their ankles or knees. It's all right. doesn't work with them. Go to another position. Maybe they're... In armbar defense, they're a 90% person. When you do a particular mount escape, it doesn't work because they do something weird. But you go to another one, and it works every time because they're 10% in one area, but 90 in another. So that's really what I want you to think about when you're learning your jiu-jitsu, especially at the lower levels. The senior guys, of course, you can start building, adding crazy stuff and things that fit into your game. But 90-10 is what I want you to keep in your mind. What will work on 90% of the people? And that's kind of what I do when I'm troubleshooting that move, uh, the king clamp that I've been working at. I have a look at what is it that 90% of the people will do. When I first lie back, 90% of the people sit up with me. And that's how the rest of the setup comes from. 10% will do something else. That's fine, I will then transition into another position. Maybe I'll end up on my back and I'll go for triangle. Maybe they're a 90% person when they're in my guard. Okay? So I don't worry about that 10%. For every position there are 10%, there's somewhere else where there are 90. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. And also saying that, take everything I've learned, make it your own. Because everything I learn is kind of, I try and adjust it for everyone that's here. But there's tall people, short people, wide people, narrow people. And everyone's going to have to do things a little bit differently. And you will adjust it to yourself and personalise it. But still make sure you understand the basics behind it.